Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore in 1.17. We are back in the last episode. We got full diamond armor. We got pitted out with a diamond axe, diamond pickaxe, and full diamond armor. Did I say enchanted? I don't think I did, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I might have said enchanted. My bad. Uh, no, we are currently unenchanted, and that actually brings me on to the next topic. I would love to do some enchanting today, but I would also lose it. I would also love to do something else. So, how does it look for my leather? Not too good at all. No, I don't have any leather at all. That's very bad. And also, the, these these are, um, yeah, getting a bit in the way here. <laughs> They're getting a bit in the way. I need a new ceiling. I don't mind them being here, but they need to be at certain areas. But yes, I want to make an enchantment place, but uh, I, I kind of need leather for bookshelves. So... That's something that we need to do. Um, yeah. Another thing I would really love to do today is also going to the nether. Because I would love to get some nether wards, setting up a nether wards farm. Um, all that good stuff. And it's night time. So, okay, so we gotta sleep. Alrighty. But I think getting books is probably going to be our first main priority. AKA, we need leather. So, we need in total 45 bookshelves. We need 45 bookshelves. Um... No, not 45 book bookshelves. Um, 15 <laughs> bookshelves. Uh, so we in need, need 46 books. Because I will need one book for the enchantment table. So I'm going to go in this direction where I know for a fact that... Why is there so many creepers? One, two, three, four, and five. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But as I was saying, I'm going to go in the area that I know we have um, other biomes. We gotta go there, gotta hunt for some cows. Maybe we find a village that actually has books. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, we, we gotta get leather and so we can make an enchantment table and enchantment setup because I do have 33 levels, which means I can currently enchant two things. And enchanting the pickaxe and the axe, I think at this point in time is going to be the most important things. Now, I'm not really worried about using these diamond tools because I can always add mending in the future. So it's not some little bit. I cannot speak. <laughs> it is not something that bothers me too much, at least at this point in time. Oh, look at that over there. That looks really cool. So I do know we have a village in this direction. That is our spider spawner right there. I do know we have a village in this direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and try see if they have any bookshelves. Uh, books. If not, well, we'll just have to make our own, I guess. Oh, would you look at this? I already killed a few cows. I have two pieces of leather. But we do have books here. You guys, you, you can be, you can, you can do with those down there, right? Right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You, you guys are good. You guys are good. Yep. Yep. You guys are professionals. Right. 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 Okay, that's like half. <laughs> that's more than half of the books. Okay. That is good. That's good. That's good. All right. So that was actually really, really good. Now I just need to get enough cows to get the rest. So that is seven. Uh, I think, according to my calculations, we are missing 42 leather. This should be interesting. All right, progress update. I found this very cool lake or pond or whatever this is. Second update, it's nighttime, so I now need to sleep. Third update, I have collected sweet berries and a spruce sapling. I don't remember if I already have one. And I, we currently have 11 leather. Um, guys, it appears that we have a jungle biome right next to the mesa. The mesa is just beyond those trees there. Um, huh. I mean, that that's cool. <laughs> that's cool having a jungle nearby. We actually have quite a few different biomes together here. This is interesting. This is very cool. We'll have to go explore that another time to see if we have any... Oh, wait, I said, wait. I can't leave without getting bamboo. We cannot leave without getting bamboo. Ten. Eleven. Perfect. That's plenty. I do want a few. Oh, I should I should get some saplings, shouldn't I? I should get some saplings so I can farm some of this stuff. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I, I, I'm forced. I can't, I can't not do it. Got the jungle sapling. Perfect. I already have some cocoa beans. We are good. 
All right, time to head back home. We also have the right amount of leather. So finally, time to head home and do what we needed to do in the first place. I just remembered that we actually also need obsidian for the enchantment table itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the obsidian from this thing. So we have enough for the portal and also enough for the enchantment table. So that would be 14 in total. And yes, it looks like we, well, not looks like, it sounds like we have a cave back here. All right, that is 14 pieces. That is perfect. We, our spider spawn is actually right there and I'm thinking of getting to level 36 so I can actually enchant three items. I think I'm actually going to do that before we head home. And we are home, perfect. All right, we have a lot to do. <laughs> I really want to expand this farm area even further in this direction today if we can. Uh, I will have to get more stone brick if I am to stick with my theme here. But let us do that after we have actually set up the enchantment area. Actually, it would make sense to actually do it first so that it can grow a little bit. Hmm. What I'll do is I'll work on the enchantment area and in the meantime, I will let all of this stone smelt. How about that? I also forgot I needed to harvest my sugar cane, otherwise I can't really make the books that I'm supposed to make now, can I? Question is, is 51 going to be enough? Oh wait, nope. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. It is not good enough at all. Right, well, we can still make the enchantment area and really hope those sugarcane grow fast. I mean, I can make 12 bookshelves, so at least that's something. We're not missing that many, actually. That's good. Now, I think I am going to make a separate room back here for it. So, yeah, I think that should be good enough. And then have the enchantment table stand, like, right here. And then we need the area around this torch pretty much clear. And then I need to... Oh, hey, copper. And then I need to make it where the bookshelves are supposed to be. Meaning, I think this should do... Right, so this is space for 10. And then if we just add a sneaky one in here and maybe some light back here as well. And then definitely are going to have the roof go up because this is just no. Uh, that's a cave, that's a cave, that's a cave, all right, good. All right, getting there. I guess we can go ahead and actually make the enchantment table. So for it, we will need two diamonds, one book right there, and then, of course, the four obsidian right here. Now, this does something you, you, you're hasty with. You actually take your time putting everything in the slots, and boom, enchantment table. And that is going to go down right there. Um, yes, perfect. Now, uh, we can actually place a glowstone block under this, I believe, to have it glow out from the enchantment table, which is going to be kind of cool. I feel like it needs to go in one further, actually. Yeah, I feel like there is a lot better compared to the rest of the room. Now, I feel like I need to place some other blocks in here instead of these bricks. I feel like it needs to be some, it needs to feel different in there. I just don't know what to, what to do yet. I don't really have that much to actually do and work with here. Um, all I have really is oak wood, but I guess oak wood could kind of work if done right. I have a bit of an idea here. We could maybe do something like this. If I can actually get these to be in the corner formation, like that. Ooh. Now what if they were facing the other way? I think that's better. I think this is actually coming along okay well. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place a bookshelf right here that is going to be hidden. But it is still going to power the enchantment table, as you can see right there. And then what I can do is I can place these like so, and then place two here, two here. Oh, the light isn't actually going through. Oh, okay. We'll have to put some lighting in the ceiling then. Um, but for now, I guess torches here works as well. Uh, what I then thought we could do is place some glow berries on the side here that is then going to grow down. And we'll then have, of course, more bookshelves, but we're not quite there, we need one more here, one more here, one more here in order to complete this. 
meaning I need nine more books. Well, basically eight more books, meaning that I need 24 more paper, which I do not have in my current possession. So I'm thinking while we're waiting for the sugarcane to hopefully grow, we can expand this area. So I want a tree area for spruce and jungle. So that's two more plots at least. And then I want another for wheat and another for nether wart. So that is another two. So we basically need to dig out uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty much this whole area. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a lot of digging. And it's actually going to wet down my diamond pickaxe quite a bit. So I think in order to do that, I'm actually going to make a couple of fine pickaxes just so I can do this job without wearing down my diamond pickaxe too much, at least until we have Unbreaking 3 on it. Replay mod isn't out for 1.17, which is basically what I usually use to make fancy looking time lapses. So I can't really do those. So uh, you, you get you get the bug stat on one. You, you get to see from this perspective doing stuff. Enjoy. All right, the entire place has been excavated. So now it is time to place down the stone brick, which I really hope I have enough of. I think I should. I should have enough, I think, but uh, we'll have to see because I didn't actually calculate for the one that has to go in between them. But looking so far, we're looking pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're actually gonna nail it. <laughs> I think we're actually going to have enough for going in and out between them and whatnot. And I think what I want to do in the future is probably having a fence going all the way around the terracotta here. Um, so that we can be in here in relative safety. I think that's something that is probably a good idea to do in the future. Oh yeah, we have plenty. We have plenty. Look at this. Look at this. And then we pop one down here and then we go out to the sides. This is perfect. And just like that, boom, two, well, four actually, four new plots, two for some trees and two for some other stuff. What isn't great though is the sugarcane speed. Um, yeah, we need we need a lot more sugarcane. Okay, guys, we actually have the exact amount right here. 24 sugarcane should give us all the paper that we need for the final bookshelf. So let's go ahead and, whoa, hello, I was not prepared for you. I did not even register this guy. <laughs> Well, I did, but then I didn't register the registering and I didn't, I didn't, basically I didn't react fast enough, okay? Um, look at this, it's already growing, um, blueberries, right, that's the name. We're, we're getting quite the collection of terracotta here. All right, let us go ahead and make the paper and this should be all that we need. That is nine books and that should be three bookshelves and 18 leather to spare, which is great. One, two, and there, and we should now have level 30 enchantments just like that. Beautiful! Now, what is not beautiful is this entrance, and... Yeah, I gotta do something about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, I have an idea. This is quite possibly the worst creation I have ever done. <laughs> this looks utter terrible. But I don't know what else to do. Maybe better? Maybe. 
Nope, I, I, I can't hide it. It, it, it looks terrible. <laughs> it still looks terrible. You know what? That works for now. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments. And let me tell you, working with these things, glazed terracotta, is not a fun experience. Anyway, uh, we can now step away from that and we can grab Lapis Lazuli and we can get to crafting. I honestly think that I should also craft a sword. Um, mainly because a sword is quicker, it can easier combo things. So I think we should go ahead and make a diamond sword. And I also think that maybe we should make a diamond shovel as well. I can't really think of anything else we would want the diamond for. We'll probably get more in the future. So I think we're going to go ahead and make a diamond shovel just like that. And hopefully I'm not going to regret that decision. <laughs> but I think having a sword is probably a very good idea. So I think I'm going to enchant the sword, the axe, and probably my chest plate. I think these three things are the stuff that I will be enchanting. So let's see. Now we actually going to get good stuff. Thorns one. Okay, that's that's one thing. Then we have unbreaking three, and we also have spite four. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead with unbreaking three because even if we only get that, it is still usable for quite a while until I can grindstone it and try again. So let's go with that. Okay, we only got unbreaking three. Okay, that's fine. Not the best start in the world. Sharpness four. I think we have to try that. I do think we have to go with that. Protection four though. Ooh, but sharpness four is very tempting. I think we go with this one. Let's do it. Hopefully we get something else too. Sharpness four and fire aspect. Eh, eh. Would have liked unbreaking. Would have liked unbreaking on that one. Let's see. Protection four. Okay. Well, let, we can we can just have to go for it here. And only protection four. Okay. Definitely did not do the best uh, in terms of enchanting here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, we didn't get unbreaking on the chest plate. We did get unbreaking, but nothing else on the pickaxe. Not even fortune. Um, and we didn't get unbreaking on the sword. But that's all right. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a quick. Uh, how do you make a grindstone again? Also, yes, you don't need to say it. I need to organize all my chests. I'll do it off camera. I need to organize. And now that I have 18, uh, 18 leather, I can actually make item frames and actually organize the stuff really, really well. Um, but anyways, we need a slab, two sticks, and two planks just like that to make a grindstone. And I think I'm going to place that right here. I think I'm going to place that right there. And we have... I do have enough iron, but I'm not going to make it now. I can actually also make an anvil. Then we'll plop that down right here as well. And we might as well, I guess, move this over then. Add that to the collection. I think we'll place you here, place that there, and then an anvil right there. This will kind of be our working area for that. I think I like that. Now, guys, I know I said that I wanted to go to the nether, but I think I'm going to hold off on that till episode seven. Well, next episode. Um, and instead, I'm going to focus on expanding the farms even more just before we call it an episode here. I want to expand with some wheat and I want to expand with some. Um, yeah, I want to expand with wheat. And obviously I can't do nether ward yet, but I also want to place down some tree saplings as well, uh, potentially with some bone meal so we can get some more saplings. Um, so yeah, I want to do that today. I also need to actually take up this, uh, this stone brick right here so that melons can actually start growing here. So I need to do that as well. And I am out of sugarcane. I need to find some more to plant. Otherwise we're going to run out pretty quickly. But I now need to find a pile of dirt. What's that? Okay, that's just the bushes. But yeah, I now need to find a place I can get a bunch of dirt from. Um, yeah. And I'd much rather have dirt than coarse dirt. So I think I might actually just start taking it from here. Yeah, this should be all right. All right, I now have four sacks of dirt. I am hoping this should be enough. I also have a wheat seed and also the 10 coarse dirt that I need for the tree area over there. So I can actually get my melons down and not destroy the rest of the farmland. I will though need to jump down into my hole, get a hoe and also some bone meal if I have any left. But look at this, this is gonna be great. Look at this, little sneaky fella. Yeah, taste my four, six I was about to say. Um, yeah, totally sharpness six. Yeah, that's totally what that is. Yeah, totally. You know what, we might as well use our enchanted golden hoe Enchanted with Curse of Vanishing, because that sounds like something that's great to have. 
anyways to let dirt and then go ahead and place cause to it right here which will basically make it so that the melons and whatnot can land here instead of there. Speaking of melons, I can turn them into seeds just like that. Perfect. Now I gotta place all of this dirt in this plot. Uh, and that plot. And maybe that plot. All right, those two plots have been filled up. We are just missing this one, and we will then have to have soul sand in that other one in order to grow um, other warts. So obviously we do not want to put dirt in that, and I do need to find the center here and dig this out in order to place a bucket of water for when we till it and plant seeds. And that is the amount of seed we have and the amount of wheat. <laughs> Not a whole lot, but it will hopefully become even more. And yes, there's an army of skeletons below me. Don't know where they are. Don't really want to find out. Now I'm going to harvest all the potatoes, then replant them all. And we have just about a little bit over three stacks of potatoes from that harvest. And we didn't even have potatoes in this lot. Beautiful. Oh, and look. That is exactly what I wanted to happen with the melons. We can now place down yet another melon seeds and we are now getting melons. Not sure why, but I guess we'll need them for glistering melons or something. <laughs> They're not really the best food, but you know what? We have them and that is what matters. Actually gonna go ahead and make an item frame right here with this leather and I'm gonna put my hoe on the side of the crafting table. Then I always have it up here. And as the sun is going down, we will go down and sleep and plant the saplings and then we'll call it an episode. Ah, you thought I was going to call it an episode right at the sunset, huh? Yeah, no, you, you thought wrong. Oh, I also need a place for the bamboo. Hmm. I'll have to do that another time. All right, let's find the center. I think that's the center right there for the spruce tree. And then over here, I think this is the center for the jungle sapling. Perfect. And with that, guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. I know I said we would go down into the nether, but I'm pushing it for the next episode where we have more time to properly go down there, look for a fortress and whatnot. Hey, can we get one of these trees to potentially grow? Maybe, maybe not, maybe. Can we? I think we might be able to. Yes, perfect. No, oh, those are not looking that green. Um... Ah, almost. But yeah, guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, as that really supports me a ton. If you like this video, maybe you'll like this video to the right. Most likely you will. I recommend you click it. Click it now. Go, go watch it now, because this video ends now. You should go watch it. And if you don't want to watch that, you can also watch this video that YouTube randomly picked out to the left. Um, you choose. And also subscribe. Hit the thing on the top of my head. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.